Well, hello there, I'm back. And I uh, have the same diagram that really doesn't pertain to what we're doing now. Uh, what we're talking about is molecular motion in solids. Do solids, uh, molecules and solids actually move? Can I demonstrate it? So I have a little thing here. Hey, what is this? Well, it's a thermometer. I want you to read that temperature right there. What does that say? 78.5 degrees Fahrenheit. That's, that's, that was warm in my office today. I don't know what the deal is. It's usually a little cooler than this. But uh, that was 78.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Why don't I write that down? That would be a good idea. 78.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and so what am I going to do? I've got uh, down here a rubber stopper on the end of this. And, uh, and I've got a hammer here. If I had a hammer, which I do, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a timer. See, I've got this timer on my cell phone here. I'm going to start a timer, and uh, uh, which I'll do right now. Boom, it's starting. And I'm going to start banging, bang, bang, bang on this rubber stopper. Bam, 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 bam. And I'm going to do this for uh, a fair while. And so you might find something else to do until you hear me uh, uh, finishing the pounding. Because I'm going to be pounding for quite, quite a long time. And... Uh, and uh, this could get very boring, but uh, I think I'm going to pound for at least about three minutes. Uh, this is something I used to do when I was teaching uh, ninth grade science. I began my teaching career before most of you were born. Uh, it's taught uh, eighth and ninth grade at a big high school in uh, Lawton, Oklahoma, uh, from 74 to 83, 1974 to 1983, and uh, and so. Uh, when I uh, was uh, wanting the students to kind of understand this concept, I would put some of these rubber stoppers out on, on the table, and they would do sort of the same thing. Uh, they had glass thermometers, and so they put a glass thermometer in, measure the temperature, take out the glass thermometer, and put in a screwdriver, and uh, start banging on the rubber stopper. The uh, instructions said to do it for uh, three minutes, so we're uh, doing it for three minutes here. And I've got this glove on, so I don't affect the temperature of the situation. This kind of insulates myself from the situation. And so I'm just banging on this rubber stopper here, and I'm yakking away, and I've only used up a minute and 28 seconds, a minute and a half, and so I'm, uh, I'm planning to go uh, three minutes here. Sorry, uh, I can't pause this particular type of video. Uh, when I press stop, it stops, and so in order for you to uh, make sure that I'm not cheating on this, uh, I've got to keep counting the uh, rubber stopper. And, uh, and uh, so, I'm, I'm doing, you see, bang, 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 that's what I'm doing. Hammer on the rubber stopper, and uh, every once in a while I'm glancing at the temperature, and, uh, and oh, that's interesting. Uh, I won't say what's interesting, oh, that's interesting, yeah. And so, uh, I'm uh, kind of pounding on this, and uh, it's now 2 minutes and 12 seconds, and so I'm going to keep pounding and pounding and pounding, and Pounding and pounding and pounding, and we're going to see if anything uh, significant happens. Uh, now we're getting kind of toward the end. I think I'll pound a little quicker. And uh, here we go. Let's see what's uh, happening. Now, uh, what do you think might happen? What's the prediction here? I'm pounding on the rubber stopper. What might that do to its molecules? If Professor Beasy, uh, well, who knows? Doesn't even need Professor Beasy to tell this. You probably know. You're probably going to be making the uh, molecules do what, maybe? Move faster? Maybe so. If that's so, what should we see about this? What temperature should we see at the end of this? Uh, three minutes. Oh, it's almost there. Here it is. Two feet and three minutes. Let's take a quick look at the temperature. What is it? What is it? What is it? 80.0. Oh, my goodness. 78.5 up to 80.0. And so the temperature went up about a degree and a half as I was pounding, as I was pounding on this rubber stopper. What's the interpretation? Pounding on the rubber stopper did what to its molecules? Made them move faster. Aha! A demonstration of the principle. All right, that's it for this one.